Select Cars rented out this car 225 times in one year for an average of 10 hours at a time. On 32 occasions, the client was under 25. On 8% of occasions, deposit money received by Select Cars is retained with good reason. However, Select Cars have been accused of unjustly retaining clients' entire security deposits in 4% of all possible cases. If this is true, what percentage has their revenue from renting this car increased because of the scam? Let's first out figure out the revenue from the over 25 since that's simpler straight away. If it's rented out for 10 hours at a time for select cars, cars at £2.10 per hour, that's 2.10 times 10, 10 hours, which is £21 because of that. Next, let's figure out what they get due to the insurance modifier. That's an increase of 4%, so 21 times 1.04 which is £21, uh, £21 and 84 pence. On 8% of occasions, deposit money is retained with good reason. So we've got 8% of the £300 is going to be retained per rental. So that's 0 0.08 for 8% times 300, which is £24 per rental. So next we have a total amount per rental that they get is the sum of these two, which is £21.84 plus £24, which is £45.84. This is only for the over 25s, and we know that 32 people are under 25. So 225, subtract the 32 under 25s as 193. We've got 193 people multiplied by £45.84 pence per time which is £8,847.12. Now let's look at the under 25s. The base cost stays the same, so this is the same as before, and this amount is the same too. But there's an additional multiplier here of 42%. We've got to increase this base cost by 42%, which is the same as multiplying by 1.42, which is £31 and, and one pence. Again, we've got to add on this £24 here and multiply by the 32 under 24s. So £31, 1 pence plus the £24, multiplied by 32 people, which is £1,760, 32 pence. Now let's figure out the money that they make from the scam. So it's retained in 4% of all possible cases, and we know there's 225 cases. If we're looking at 4%, we've got 225 times 0 0.04, which is 9 people. So if 9 people's money was retained, that's 9 lots of £300, which is £2,700. Let's figure out how much this is as a percentage of total revenue. That's 2,700, the amount from the scam, divided by the total amount they take in. The 2,700 from the scam, the amount from over 25s, and the amount from under 25s. We want that as a percentage, so we'll multiply by 100, which gives us 20.3%.